Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm so happy to have you. So my feed subscribers, welcome back. If you're just coming in, Apple realized that I just started posting and uploading a few more videos before this, uh, welcome back. So um, give you a little small update. I want to keep it as short as possible. Um, I got brain surgery, so I got cochlear implants. I got new QNAs. Um, I broke my foot. And I have two puppies that I deal with at home. So I am with daddies. Before I go to work, I take care of them. When I come home, I take care of them. And so right now they are sleeping. Thank God. I finally found some peace and quiet to be able to record the videos. That's why they're very small and clips. Just, to be able to, just so I could be able to get some videos out for you guys. I do apologize for the very long wait. Um, but I thought I'd do, let's just begin, shall we? So today's topic is going to be really talking about the control of the House of Representatives. Yeah, we're going to start this. This video is being recorded on March 22nd, 2024 at 1 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, here are some quick disclaimers on your screen right now. Feel free to read them on your own time. So keep in mind this video is just for entertainment purposes only and for education purposes only as well. And here's the last disclaimer. Um, just kind of give you a little update though. In the past, I have said that the House of Representatives were going to go to the Democratic Party before the 2024 presidential election because of what is going on with the speakership with uh, Mike Johnson and uh, Kevin McCarthy and stuff like that. I just say Kevin. I just say the new speaker after Kevin McCarthy will have a shorter term than um, Kevin McCarthy, or at least very similar in terms of the same length. But what it does tell me, though, it, it tells me that the Republican Party is in disarray when it comes to the House of Representatives, and because of that, what that tells me as well is that the Republican Party is struggling to really get any sort of legislation done. They are not governing in the United States. And that is really pitching a lot of people off, including Republicans. Well, even when I did my own internal polling, 74% of all Republicans are very pissed off at the House of Representatives, unable, unable to be able to perform basic governmental tasks. And so that is gonna play a major role in this election. However, when it comes to the House of Representatives, because American people cannot vote yet for the representative, what does seem to be in play, though, is the speakership. And so the way I see it work is I see that a lot of Republicans are either going to become abstain or just won't show up to the voting vote, voting booth when it comes to voting in their new speaker. And so that is going to lead for a Democratic speaker of the House to be able to take control. And so that is like, that is what I see. I do see some sometime before the election there's going to be a blue speakership, even though even when uh, the Republicans still have the majority, and so that is going to be really interesting to see how that will play out. And it does seem to be that is going to be the case. I did speak about in a previous video, which I will link below. I'll go more into detail um, in this specific video at another time when I have more time to do so. But let's just begin. I just want to give you a little bit of background information of what I talked about in the previous video. I just, since it has been quite a while. But anyway, let's begin. So it's really saying, it'll tell me who will win control of the House of Representatives come the 2024 presidential election um, results in terms of the congressional races. What party will win control of the House of Representatives? Will it be the Democrats or the Republicans? Okay, it looks like to me it's going to be Democrats. Could you have Joe Biden here? This is the blue card. This is the card that wants to always represent the Democrats. Okay, and show me the card to represent the Republican. Okay, so in this case, this will be the Knight of Cups. In the Knight of Cups, is upright, which basically tells me that they're walking away with the victory because we have here, um, we have the Speaker and we have the Democratic Party in control after the 2024 president election. This kind of gives me the law or the bill or the law of the land, which is basically what that is. Um, that is what I see for the Democrats when it comes to the Republicans, though. I feel like they are they have nothing to offer the American people and they're walking away from legislating, doing what is their job, their basic job, and they're walking away from that. And therefore, they are not going to win control of the House of Representatives come the 2024 election. To further amplify and be able to really get a deeper understanding of what is going on. We do have here, it is a 50-50 chance that the Democrats are going to be able to take control of the House of Representatives. It seems to be interesting. But it also does indicate to me that there is some sort of bipartisanship. So what it seems to me, already, it does seem that it's not 
We're definitely talking about the 2024 election. It's also talking about a little bit prior to the 2024 election. It talked about bipartisan control. So it could be a Democratic uh, speaker, but with a Republican majority. And so that's what it's also indicating. It's really showing uh, the American people that the Democrats can govern in a bipartisan way. And this will cast a negative light onto the Republican basically showing the American people that the, uh, the Republicans are unable and unable to work in a bipartisan way or a bipartisan effort. We do have here, we do have the Knight of Cups, which represents the Republicans here, and we have the Eight of Swords, which normally means overtaking the incumbent, removing their own leader from power. And so that's what this seems to be. It does seem to be to me that the Democrats have the legislative ability, they have the goal, they have those skills, the Republicans do not. Right? This is talking about the 2024 election. This is the result. This is talking about prior to this result. It, that there's bipartisanship on the Democratic Party side and the Republicans outdid Mike Johnson from the speakership. Okay, so we have here, we have the five of cups reverse. And this is normally talking about a loss or grievances or a grief of some sort. That doesn't really be, seem to be showing to me here for the Democratic Party. I don't see any grief or any sort of solace for the Democrat. When it comes to the Republican, though, I do see the Four of Pentacles reverse. And that is telling me during this term, when um, these two happened, where the Democrats had bipartisanship in Congress before the 2024 election, and Mike Johnson is out from the speakership, what this tells me is somewhere along the line, four Republican uh, will step down and their seats will flip to the Democrat. However, what this also does tell me as well is that when I say flip, that doesn't mean that they always step down. It may also mean that they flip and vote for the Democrats in a correlation that say, hey, you know what? I'm going to caucus with you because my Republican colleague can't seem to get anything done, but I want to get things done because I need to get elected, re-elected to Congress. And so that's kind of like what this seems to be as well. It just seems to be either the four seats are up and they get flipped over by the Democratic Party and the Democrats are able to gain four seats. Excuse me. What happened with George Santos' seat in uh, New York District, uh, the third district in New York? Um, he is now running in my district. Yay! And not really a sarcasm. But anyway, he flipped that seat. So if the Democrats are able to flip four more Republican seats in control, they will be able to um, win the speakership. They may not really be able to win the majority of uh, the House of Representatives, but they will be able to win the speakership. However, even if they don't flip that, they may just be able to convince four Republicans to vote for the Speaker of the House with a Democrat, and that might be just enough to be a Democratic Speaker of the House with a Republican majority. Now, the final outcome card here is we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of Pentagons. What this shows me already, it, it seems to be indicating to me that in the speakership, it feels to me that they are going to be rushing so many things in the House of Representatives that we might actually over-succeed on how fast-paced the House of Representatives is really going and how many bills will pass despite a lackluster Congress. And it does tell me here that one, only one major achievement was achieved by the Republican majority. However, when this new leader comes in, look at all these problems, look at all these bills that were supposed to be passed that were just not passed or done anything about. These will become very fast paced. Like you will see governing in uh, the Congress, like you've never seen it before, it'll be so fast paced, just like the way I do my videos now, it'll be very fast paced. Like it's gonna be quick, easy, short, it's gonna go right through, it's gonna speed, it'll get denied, it's gonna get vetoed, it's gonna pass. Whatever the process is, it is going to be seamless in the House of Representatives after this new speaker. Right, now I did say it's possible that uh, after Mike Johnson I did say that uh, from Kevin McCarthy, after he leaves, there are going to be two more Republican speakers of the Democrat. Unless um, they really push off a lot of people, that is going to be a Democrat. But in this case, it's going to be either another another Republican speaker than a Democratic speaker, or it's going to be um, a Democratic speaker. It's going to be one of the two.
And so, yeah, that's what I see for the whole the House of Representatives. It does seem to be that it's going to go to the Democrats before the 2024 election. Uh, the Republicans better start working or they are about to lose the House and they're going to lose it by a lot. Now, when I say by a lot, I mean maybe by a few seats, but still that is a lot in today's standards. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.